Let's take a look at what did not survive very well with temps down in the low 30s, mid to low 30s. Amaranth, not so hot. Okra, whoo, took a hit. This okra is taller than me and I'm about 5'10". I would say it's almost seven feet tall. I'm drying some of the pods for a fall, fall wreath or um, decoration. They also make really cool Christmas ornaments. I'll show a picture of that. I bet the Malabar spinach, which is a tropical, semi-tropical vine, didn't do great. Oh, it's okay. This is just neat. If you're cooking and you need spinach and it's been hot out, this is the perfect plant to have in your garden. It also produces berries that you can use to dye things. Here's what the berry looks like when it's, when it's ready to be used as dye. And there's just, uh, there's definitely a ton of berries on this really cool Malabar spinach vine. It almost looks like a Deodar cedar when it curls over. We had a bad storm and the tip of it now is curled over, but before it looked really cool. We ate all our persimmons and my artichoke is coming back. Dies to the ground every year. It comes back, gives us artichokes. I planted that from seed. The zinnias took a little bit of a hit and the figs are done. I had them bagged up and it worked wonderful. Little organza bags protect the figs. You can see the asparagus fronds. They look so beautiful. I would suggest asparagus in the garden. It is a 25 year old, it'll last that long and give you asparagus for years and years and years. And the fronds just look so beautiful. Insects and birds and butterflies use it to take cover. Just a neat plant to have. The most surprising thing that I wanted to show you is the amaryllis. These were waxed amaryllis bulbs. And I thought that amaryllis, being a tropical plant that, of course, you love to have bloom during the holidays, would suffer in those cold temps. Frost. I scraped ice off my windshield today. And usually the guidance is anything under 50, bring it in. But during the summer, I put this in a grow bag, just a small grow bag. I love grow bags. I've always been a fan. I can't believe how big the leaves have grown. And what's neat about this is the larger the leaves are, the more vigorous the amaryllis is, the more beautiful your flowers will be when they're ready to bloom. Now, of course, if I wanted these to bloom around Christmas time, New Year's, I would have had to force them to go into dormancy a lot sooner. Maybe around August, July time frame, five months before I want um, those blooms to happen in the house. And of course, I need to take these in soon because they're not going to withstand winter out here but I was surprised that they were good to go with temps that were in the 30s. Um, and the leaves just look beautiful. And the reason why I think the leaves look so good, because I've grown these in the ground before, is that they're in a grow bag and there's less pest pressure, less pests that will go and eat the leaves because they can't get to it as easily as they could say this hosta, which is on its last last bits of the season so I do have some semi-tropical plants in the garden and what I do is this hardy hibiscus is good to go but I cut it down and I cover it up with grow bags and mulch during the winter same thing with this one all the elephant ear bulbs I do that too I have mojito elephant ear which I love and I have a purple one and so I'll cover up those bulbs this big one I'll cover up the bulbs. And there's buckaroo. I was convinced by my daughter to make minions out of straw bales. This is the beginning. 
the beginning and I have multiple bales that I'm going to dress up with these little overalls and buttons made from spice jar tops and eyes made from plates and the um, plastic knives that we had left over. I just cut them and painted them silver so they look like eyeglass hinges. So yeah, it should be interesting. Right, Buck? Right, Buck? Yes. You're a good boy. You're so sweet. I'm making your treat inside. Do you want to go see if it's ready? Come on. Let's go check it out. Here are my crystals that someone gave us on a camping trip. I put them on top of the water barrel. <clears throat> I've got gourds drying in the window. I'm not sure if they're gonna live because they really need to dry on the vine. But my whole vine house, my gourd house, was starting to fall over, so I had to cut them up, which sucks. Cut them down. This is my sunroom. I have a refrigerator in my sunroom, which is weird. And I make tea here every day. 